Hi everyone, my name is Leslie and today we're going to be seeing how to subtract decimal numbers. Okay, first we're gonna start off with this equation. And what I'm going to do is work it out with you guys. I want you guys to remember to always start from the right hand side and work towards the left. So what we're gonna do is subtract the one from the one. One minus one is zero. Okay, right here is zero. And then we're gonna subtract six from nine. But six is smaller than nine, so we can't really do that. What we're going to do is go to the tens right here, go to the next larger number and borrow from that one. So from six tens is going to turn into five tens because we're gonna borrow one of the tens and that's gonna be turned into 10 ones. So 10 is going to be added to six and then that's going to turn into 16 ones. And what we're gonna now going to do is we're gonna subtract nine from 16, and that would be seven. So then we're going to look into the five minus the one, and we can do that, so it's four. Eight minus five is three. So the answer for 866.1 minus 519.1 is 347.0. So now we're gonna type that out, 347.0 with the mouse. We're going to submit. There we go. Now we're going to work on this problem. So 6 minus 7, we can't do that, right? So now we're going to go into the larger number. We're going to borrow 10s from this one. So this is the 1s. That's going to turn into a 5. So 1, 1, 1. So if you borrow 1 from here, it's going to turn into 10 in the 1s. So right here is going to be 10 plus six, and then that's gonna be 16. So now the new subtraction formula is going to be 16 minus seven, and that's going to be nine. And then we're gonna to go to this section right here and it's five minus two. Since five is larger than two, we, can, we are able to do that and then that is three. Five minus two is three. So 6.6 .6 minus 2.7 is 3.9. Gonna clear this out. Type in 3.9 to see if we were correct. 3.9, submit, and you got it. Now we're gonna work on this one. Six minus two is possible. So, because six is larger than two, so the number right here is going to be four. Can we subtract three from seven? Yes, we can, because seven is larger than three. So we're going to write a four right here because seven minus three is four. Now we're going to move them to the one section right here. Six minus one is five. So we're gonna put a five right here. Oops, sorry. Did a little bit too big, but it's okay. Three minus two is one. So we're just gonna write one right here. So 36.76 minus 21.32 is 1544. Now we're gonna type it out. 15.44 and then submit it to see if we're correct. Terrific, there you go. Now we're gonna work on another problem. And always remember guys, work from right to left. So now we're gonna subtract four from one, I mean one from four, and it's going to be three. Can we subtract seven from four? No, because four is smaller than seven. So what we're going to do is borrow from the next larger number, which is right here. So three is going to become a two and the four is going to be, 10 is going to be added to the four because we bought 10 once is one, one. That, it's a little bit confusing because the little, the decimal sounds exactly like, so one sound exactly like one, like the placement. So it's gonna be a little bit confusing talking about it, but you guys get the gist of it. So 14 minus seven, is seven and then we move on to the next section two minus six you can't really do that because two is smaller than six so we're going to turn this two we're going to go borrow from the next section so four is going to be three and then you're going to add ten to the two so ten plus two right here equals twelve so twelve minus six is six and then we're going to move on to the next section so three minus four 
We can't do that, so what we're going to do is borrow from the 9. So that 9 is going to become an 8, and then you're going to add 10 to the 3. Sorry, it's getting a little bit messy, guys. So we're going to go... 10 plus, we're going to do 10 plus 3. So 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 minus 4 is going to be 9. And then 8 minus 6 is 2. The total answer is 296.73. So we're going to type that out. And then we're going to submit. Excellent. Let's see. And now we're going to continue to do this problem. So remember, the last, I always want you guys to remember, start from the right towards the left and make sure you always have a larger number on top than in the bottom. So since four is smaller than nine, you can't subtract this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go borrow. So that three is going to turn into a two. We're going to add 10 to four. So that's going to turn into 14. And now we're going to do 14 minus 9. That's going to be 5. And then the 2 minus 0 is 2. So it's 0.25. And we're going to see if that's going to, if they're going to let me check it or not, because I did reach my daily limit of practice. So either way, I know this is correct, but just in case, let's see. I'm not allowed to, but I know it's correct, guys. So there you guys go. Those are the practice problems for today. And if you have any more questions, remember to put them, tell you, ask your teacher, or you can put them in the website that my supervisor is going to give you guys. And if you have any questions, I'll promise to go back to them.